He's coming back. One more thing, gentlemen. In future, all bunk boards will be numbered to make sure that you're entitled to what you are claiming for. So we use numbered bed boards. Right. Work Stop shouting. Shouting. Who's Have shouting? Who's shouting? Have you gone dead? Look at it! Look at what? At this? What is it? It's a painting. What kind of a painting? Modern. What does it represent? Nothing. It's, uh... Well, it's subjective. I see. One with a hidden meaning. It seems to be a matter of some dispute. Oh, it's not finished. Uh, we don't like it. No, it's terrible. Yeah, I resent opinions on it until it is. I'll finish it. And I will study it most carefully before I give you my opinion. I promise. Well done. Shut up. Look, I didn't do it on purpose. I said shut up. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. What's going to him? You'll be all right. You know Simon. Pity. Hello, chaps. Edward Bentinck Boyle, Captain Grenadiers. Well, call me Ted. Most chaps do. I say, is this bunk taken? No. Good show. Uh, I'm Pat Grant. Oh, how do you do? Dick Player. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello, how do you do? George Brent. Hello. Yes, jolly good. Well, uh, how did you uh, get here? Oh, that's a long story. <laughs> yes. No, we were... Um, I say, where's the... Yes. Um, yes. No, we were doing a sort of Boy Scouts reconnaissance in that, um, you know, that terribly wet bit of Norway. Actually, from what I could see, it's all pretty humid. It never stopped raining the whole time. Ghastly. Anyway, middle of the night, there we were, suddenly surrounded by a lot of chaps shouting at us in German. Lots of banging, you know, and I, um... Yes, and I got captured. Got sent to a flag, um, 7C. At Laufen? Yes. Didn't think much of it, actually. So I left. How? Oh. Through the wire, old man. Thanks. Didn't get far, as a matter of fact. They put me in solitary, so I had another go. <laughs> yes, that was dash bad luck, looking back on it, because, you see, I thought I was in Switzerland. What? <laughs> Saw this chap that um, I took for some member of the first Swiss yodelers, and he turned out to be a German frontier guard. So, they sent me here. Tell me, how does one get out of this place? Oh, that's what we're wondering. Yes, well, who's in charge of the old escape plans? So far, Nobody. We haven't, we haven't any escape organisation. What? <laughs> well, we have to start one, won't we? Trying to do that, Dick. Say, Pat, that chap arrived yesterday. What'd you make yeah. of him? Oh, it's a bit early to tell you. <laughs> I, 
I didn't know anybody was still that British. Jean could be a bit too British. What do you mean? Well, he seems to me to be any German's idea of a British officer. Go on. Well, the Poles think they have a stool pigeon. The French almost certainly have one. Yeah. Well, I had a few words with him last night. In between the by Joes and the Wattos, I got a bit out of him. He said he was a Winchester. Uh-huh. And straight into the guards. But he said he doesn't speak German. A chap who doesn't speak the language, he seems to find it bloody easy to escape. I mean, how did he get halfway across Germany without? Well, yes. And in what is more or less his uniform. Ah. He also volunteered the information. He had a fair amount of German Reich marks on him. George Brent. What about him? He was at Winchester. We can at least check that part of his story. Hmm. Cigarette? Oh, I say, thank you. You tell me I'm not the only Wickhamist here anymore. What? I say, jolly good. <laughs> what house were you? I was in college. Yes, but I mean, uh, what house? Told you a man, college, and you? Sergeants. Alias Phil's, alias D. <laughs> you mean GL, man? Didn't I say that? <laughs> oh, seems a hell of a long time ago now. And we had nothing more to worry about than whether we'd pass our bogles. Pass our bogles, eh, man? Where to put one's strat? Well, I always put mine on my head. <laughs> <laughs> they were good days, though. Best days of one's life, chap say. After books, that wonderful hour to yourself, cloister time. The cloister time? Cloister time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You were saying, old man? No, nothing, old bean. Yeah, well, we must have a chat sometime. Hooray. He's a wickermist, all right. Um, I see, chaps. That fellow I was just talking to. Yeah. Well, he says he was at Winchester, but he wasn't. He doesn't even know that a bogle is a bally bicycle. Look, do you think he's, um, do you think he's sound? somebody escape. The last time when they stopped us at the gate, all your officer got was, what did he get? A month solitary. Yes, and we got all privileges stopped, a month, and the man who lent your officer his uniform, he was flogged as well for nothing. What are you doing here? Collecting palliasses. Palliasses? Yeah. Well, you're not using them. We're sleeping on bare boards down in the town. Where's Dick? Watch the door. Where's Dick? Hmm? Dick. He's with a wicker, Miss. Right, come on. Right, Dick, you're leaving. I'll explain as we go. But I haven't got Hurry! Any... I haven't got any clothes ready. You can take mine. Right. Those documents Tim made for the German corporal. We'll get them. Right, now you know your route. Yes. Don't Thanks. risk expresses. Thank you. Local trains to Vienna, then it's 17 miles to Bath. God, I've waited for this. I'm sure your father's friend will help. He's an old type Austrian aristocrat. He wouldn't help anyone else, but he'll do this for my father's sake. Get the map. Right. Shoes. One map. They're underneath. One uh, rather unreliable compass. Thanks. I'm still clothes. Thanks. Sorry. Check the list. Okay. Identity card. Yeah. Yes. Map. Yes. Give me that. It's not finished. Travel document. Yes. Leave pass. Yes. Compass. Clothes. Yes. Money. 
You've got some rice marks. Uh, yes, old boy. Well, we pull everything here. Yes, I know, ma'am, but uh, dash it, it is my money, and it's damn tricky getting hold of it. I, I said we pull everything. Yeah, well, you can have some of the money. Come on. You see, I'm going too. Oh, no, you're not. You wait your turn. <laughs> yes, there you are. It's not very much, but it's something. Thanks, Pat. I'll be back in a minute. But, Pat, what am I doing? Taking a chance. Dick. Dick, come here. Here's Vienna. Someone out, you mean? In one of those palliasses. Not on your life. There's no risk. Just load it, then it's up to him. I'm not risking a flogging for a British officer. For heaven's sake, whose side are you on? Mine. Twenty cigarettes. Shoot a <laughs> A hundred, then. You haven't got a hundred cigarettes. The moment he's in that lorry, you'll get your hundred cigarettes. But I'm not doing this because I love the British. I don't. I'm not doing this for the honor of France. I'm doing it for a hundred cigarettes. You understand? And if you don't produce the cigarettes, your officer comes out again. Here. Okay. Now, you know what you're doing? Yes. Good right. luck. Down three with one bullet. They say they won't do it. They say it's too dangerous. Now, there's not a hundred cigarettes for them the moment he's in. No. Two thousand feet, one thousand five hundred. 1,250. The great thing is to uh, design an aircraft that has a smaller turning circle than your opponent. Gives you a hell of an advantage. You know the Germans are going to blame, don't you? You. Vous deux, cette paillasse au camion vite. Marche, marche!
you think you're doing? The same as you old boys. But you haven't a chance. You're still in uniform. You don't... It's worth trying, old man. Get out! Good show. Jolly good. Right. Fair cop. There's a chap said to the native policeman. <laughs> Don't understand that, do you? Don't understand what I say. Jim's room this. Right, you lead on. You know the way and all that. Put your hands over your head! You couldn't get through the door, old man. Do you see? <laughs> Dick's getting on. Hmm. I wonder what's happened to that idiot guardsman. Could have wrecked the whole thing. I hope he took his umbrella with him. Six. You're so proof. Yes. Look as if you've been out all night. I got caught when I left home. Give me your coat. I'll dry it for you. Four. Five. Six. Ah. It's me. Dice running. I thought it was cheap. Yeah. Well, man, if I'm to go into solitary confinement, I really must have a clean pair of socks. Get up. Go away. If you've been stuck in a palliasse, you'll know what it does to the sweat glands. It's jolly embarrassing. Habes confitentem realm, as Petronius remarked. I said get up. Yes, it means you have a confessing prisoner. But you must know Petronius, sir. Chap who said, abiit ad plures fidiken. Run, rabbit, stay run, out, stay rabbit. out, stay out! I really do have the most appalling manners, you know. Just for that, you can wash my socks yourself. <laughs> Please yourself. You will be punished for this. If you deprive a chap of clean socks, you are beneath contempt. Go away. Mind if I sit here? Please. What was all that about? Dick's got away. What? How do you know? When he quoted from Petronius, Abiat ad plures, he has joined the majority. And then he added Fidiken. That's not Petronius, that's Latin for a player of a stringed instrument. Dick's got away. Well, Captain Bentick Boyle's not as stupid as he looks. He's a wickermist. Yeah, but he took a hell of a risk jumping to queue like that. I mean, he could have spoiled all of Dick's chances. I don't know. Once the Germans found him and they gave up looking for anybody else, he could have improved Dick's chances. Yeah, but Dick's got away. He's got away! <laughs> you want the army? Yes. Only? That's right. Where are you headed? Modling, just south of Vienna. Where are you stationed? In France. Oh, OK. You're in luck. My unit's in Russia. They're about in France. Le Trépas, near Dieppe. What the hell are you doing here, then? It's nowhere near your route. There's a girl. <laughs> What's her name? You think I'd tell you when you live here? <laughs> That's fair enough. I wish I could get a posting in France, anywhere except Russia. I can imagine. Mind you, it won't last for long. 
and probably the casualties they are suffering. Only half trained, a lot of them. Should be over by the time winter sets in. Oh, it better be. We have no winter clothing that I know of. I'm with the 17th Panders. Guderian, 2nd Panzer Army. What's your outfit? Light anti aircraft, 88. Well, perhaps I'll get a posting in France. I got. It was a landmine just outside Orel. You know, it's Boone's mostly. Yeah. Worth 28 days' leave anyway. Aren't you in uniform? This girl, she... Well, surely she doesn't mind you wearing a uniform. No, 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 no. Just, just, my, my travel voucher is to Vienna. Oh, I, I get it. Uh, you have a travel voucher to your home, but you turn up here in military Suits uniform. It. <laughs> well, that's crafty. And to which her fiancé is in the military police. Oh. <laughs> well, don't worry. To look at you, no one will dream you in the army. Or if you were, you'd be on orders. <laughs> well, I have to go. I'd get changed dried right off if I were you. You're catching pneumonia going around like that. It's nice to have met you. Nice to meet you. Here. Give my friend a glass of schnapps. Get him warmed up. We don't want you dying in action. Eh? Thanks. What are you trying to do? Just walking. At this time of night? In this weather? Show me your papers. Ah, a soldier, eh? Yes. Where are you trying to get to? Maudling, just south of Vienna. But that's 40 kilometers. I missed the last train. Well, you are in luck. Get in. Yes, sir. What do you mean? 17th Panzers. Where are you from? Modling, sir. You told me that. I mean, where were you serving? We're with General Guderian, 2nd Army, sir. He's a great general. Yes, sir. What are you doing here? Sick leave, sir. Wounded, yeah? No, I, I got pneumonia and... <coughs> you look like living death, Corporal. Thank you. Thank you. You get above one bed, the better. Yes, sir. You haven't told me yet what you were doing. Wandering about in the middle of the night. Uh, there's a train connection. I, I missed it. So you were hoping for a lift? <laughs> yes, sir. You lucky I came along. Yes, sir. My driver wouldn't have picked you up. He's on leave. Compassionate leave, he calls it. 
Why aren't you in uniform? The hospital, they took my uniform. They issued me with these. Surely they gave you another. With the winter coming on, they're needing all the uniforms they can get. Yes. I'm going as far as we know. Yes, it's very kind of you, mm. sir. I can drop you at one of the transit depots there. They will have a bed for you. I'd rather go straight home. No. I think I know what is best. You look just about all in. I'll be all right by tomorrow, sir, so when I get home. Our oh, beloved Australia. <coughs> <huh? coughs> the nation of the walls and cream cakes and plump pink girls. <laughs> What are the Russian women like? What? What? What are the Russian women like? We, we didn't see many of them, sir. They're dancing too fast, eh? That's, that's it, sir. It is something we have to do. We must show these sub races that. <laughs> you say you were with the 17th Panzers? Yes, sir. How is my old friend Friedrich Bayerlein? Well, how is he? I don't know, it's... You should know him, Corporal. I'm sorry, sir. He is your colonel. Ah! <laughs> I was forgetting. <laughs> he was to go to the 17th, but he was transferred to the 4th. <laughs> I went to his farewell party. It lasted two days and two nights. <laughs> and one night. You should have seen the girls we had. <laughs> you married? No, sir. I am married. I don't let that crap my style. Mm. Good look. Paper, please. I have worked out how it was done. Pious gentlemen are for sleeping on. I know it helps you to pass the time to try and escape, but I would not place much hope on succeeding if I were you. Lieutenant Player will not get out of Germany. That is all. Up. Up. We are just coming into Vienna. How much leave have you got? 28 days, sir. Allow yourself 20 women. Yes, that's an order. <laughs> <coughs> you really want to go straight on. <coughs> I wouldn't divide with you. You look really ill, Corporal. I can drop you by the station. Thank you, sir. There's a military police post there. They will have something to eat and a place for you to toss down until you're trained. Thank you, sir. <sighs> I just have to make a report. And I have to go back to my unit in a couple of days, damn it. You are lucky. You have a month in Vienna. I would give a lot for a month in Vienna. Thank you, sir. Halita! Halita. Finish your coffee and get out. I'll stay here all night for the price of a cup of coffee. Just a little late, it's nearly two, and uh, have you any day to sleep? Why? You can come home with me, if you like. I haven't any money. Oh. You could sleep at our house, but whether you... Uh, I'm afraid Madame makes men pay, even if they don't. 
I wouldn't be much fun. Yes, that's what I meant. Just sleep. But I'm... <coughs> you see, Madame always makes men pay, even if they don't. Don't you do the get out. I'm going. You must oh. have some money. Not enough. I could help you. Ten marks. I could show you somewhere out of the lane for ten marks. Sometimes been clients here. That salve, madame, takes nearly every penny I earn. This is the only way I can. Yes. You must lie down. <coughs> You're not well. I know what you are. <laughs> you are a deserter. But I won't tell anyone. I promise. You'll be quite safe here. Nobody ever comes. It looks locked, you see. Only I unscrew the things that holds the padlock. You can't see. Not unless you look very closely. Now? You go to sleep. Yes. I'd better go back. At this time of night? Mm. Sometimes there's soldiers around the station and one or two of the clubs, they're just starting to close. Not that I have much luck there. The clubs have all got their own girls. Back in the morning. You'll be quite safe. I'll, uh, I'll have a knack roast as well. Mm -hmm. Trying to put on weight, eh? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> There's so many dip you last night, huh? Mm. I brought you some food. Oh, thanks. It's not much. Oh, anything. Believe me, anything. Take your temperature. Oh, just the food. I never liked the taste of thermometers. <laughs> you seem a lot better. Now, open your mouth. Why are you doing Don't talk, you break the thermometer. Well, I've and to don't know. ask why. There are too many people going around asking why. You must Look, have... I told you not to talk. Just accept the facts that I won. Go, just accept it. Normal. Look, it hasn't started yet. Now, I've got you a couple of bread rolls. 
and a knack post and a bottle of cognac. An angel in disguise. <laughs> Disguised, all right. You oh, really... don't talk. Now, at a, at a house, there's a doctor comes to... But I can talk to him. He can come and I see. I don't need a doctor. Oh, but... Anyway, you know I have no money. He, uh... I can get him to come for nursing. How's my temperature? You need a doctor. Look. Look, all right, I'm a deserter. Yes. I don't know what the price for handing deserters over to the authorities is. No, but he's going to hand also, you over. There's also a price for concealing them. I don't want to risk your neck or the doctor's or mine. I can never repay you. I shall never see you again. I'm very, very grateful. I just have some food. It's starting to rain again. I can just see Dick now. Some great Teutonic four-poster. Weighted on hand and foot. And the food. Mm. You know, George, you've got a one-track mind. What about the women? The women? Can you imagine? Smelling so sweet. Luxury. Let's cling to that. The luxury of women. God knows how I remember them after a year. But I do. The women. Thank you. With any luck? You'll be home soon. Yeah. You know what I wish? I wish I could tell Cathy that I'm on my way. All right, darling. In a moment. Get up. I've got a crane. I'm sorry, you've got to get up for a few minutes. I've got a crane. Yes, darling, all right. I won't be a moment. Don't hurry, please. I won't be long. Why is it stopping? Sorry, I hate to turn you out, but I've got to end the money. Because there wouldn't be any food for you if I didn't work. I brought you some sausage. That sour of a madame. She just gives me enough to go out again. She knows she can do what she likes with me. And you know that? What? Oh. Do 
you know why she can treat me like this? I'll tell you why. Because I am half Jewish. That's why. I can't get my fair share like the other girls because she has only got to tell the SS. And I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> Racial purity. Okay. I do all right. Yeah. She looks so scraggy, that's it's probably eating a good meal. You know what I'm having this supper? Fresh trout and a nice tasty Wiener schnitzel with new potatoes and parsley and green salad and then an apple strudel and a pie with cream and then beer. <laughs> Plenty of beer. <laughs> you uh, feel like a nice uh, schnitzel, like you had before, huh? Please, the consul. You look sick. Why don't you sit down? Or may I have your name, please? Richard Player. I'm British, Royal Navy. I was a prisoner of war. He's sick. I'm sure he's telling the truth. Mm. <coughs> I don't know. There's a rumor going around that we're maybe not as uh, neutral as we're supposed to be. It's kind of tricky. Could be an agent provocateur. Well, I guess I better talk to him. Say you were a British prisoner of war. Where'd you escape from? Colditz. Colditz? Leipzig. Don't ask for any proof. I haven't any. This is Vienna. I managed. I speak, I speak German. For God's sake, does it matter how I got here? What is it you want? I haven't any money. You came here for money? Just enough for some food and my train fare to Baden. Fifty marks. I 
think you'd better leave. But, Julius, I beg you. I'm sorry. We're under strict orders to avoid contact with any member of the Allied forces. Now, will you please go? Look, if I'm I not... understand and appreciate your difficulty. Believe me, I do. But the government of the United States cannot risk any provocation. But provocation? It isn't the money. Fifty please, bucks! Please, You're putting me in a most compromising situation. Painfully clear. Look, uh, look, I'm not saying this is anything personal, but... Well, the United States government... I'm not asking the United States. You, you lend me the money. Please! You're being watched. Let them watch! We're at war! I thought you were one of us! We are not allied to anyone else! To hell with your allegiance! I need the money! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you just put 50 marks on the table, I won't look, I'll turn away. No one would know. Please! You're afraid. Look at me, Daniel! You're afraid for yourself. The United States government cannot possibly authorize pay You hypocrite. You thick-skinned hypocrite! God help you! I, uh, wanted to lend him the money. But the risk... without any proof. I mean, uh, I couldn't really believe he was who he said he was, could you? He was dying. What more proof do you want? Isn't that Dick Plan? Oh, oh, Excuse me, old man. Listen, didn't we meet somewhere? The Winchester Eden match? No? Dick. No. We thought you'd made a home run. I ran out of money. What? What? Where did they pick you up? Vienna. But it doesn't matter now. It hasn't all been a failure. Just try to remember everything that happened. Do not speak. He is under arrest. I'm going to solitary. You'll get to you. Step aside, Captain. End the way. Where's that escort? Forward. March.